evening good morning to all of you namaste salams so we continue with the existing concepts uh, existing slides and today we discuss names uh, there is some difference between the namespace and the assemblies as i mentioned in the slides is a namespace is the process of putting a class in a particular container so that it can be clearly differentiate between the classes with the same name you just take one example suppose there is uh, we are creating one project and the project use the fundamental of networking as well as it use the fundamental of database so both the developer crying for giving the class name as a connections so at that moment if there is no namespace fundamental is there so we know that in a single application the two class name cannot be similar but as namespace is there is a collection of a different number of classes so we suggest the networking people that you have to create network namespace and similarly database namespace will be created by the database groups so solution will be sort like folders it's a an in contrast a assembly codes are a physical organized and structures ye is a binary file that contains a dotnet exe executable file which is compiled into the msil code it's a logical grouping of class namespace namespace is a logic and it is uh, an assembly main purpose of assembly is to use for the development and deployment and the versioning issues and both can contain like here in the third point namespace can contains one more assemblies and assembly can also contains one more namespaces as i previously said the in the first point namespace remove a ambiguity found in a object referencing and helps since a library designings like very simple a, as you see in a dot dot net a lot of predefined namespace are there the groupism is easy because .NET framework contain a thousands of concepts, more than more many concepts. So there is something like package your namespace system namespace is there within a system namespace again sub namespace is there. Like whenever we creating a file structure, we creating a folder sub folder putting a files. So arranging the application is very easy, or knowing the application is very easy because it is available in some hierarchical fashions. and uh, assemblies basically solve the versioning problems and it is security can be assives and other form of deployment can easily controls so in the next slides we discuss the fundamental of as private assemblies as the name suggest we is created when an assembly of another application is not needed you check one example suppose assembly is created for a town department for the employees of the account department an assembly of other application like your purchase department is not required accounts departments employ control is not deal with the purchase department employees so both are has a own private assemblies some of the advantages like your private assembly need not to be registered there is no needs private assembly are more secure because no other application can access the resources which ever is present in a private assembly since the private assembly are only accessible to the applications so there is no boundary on naming convention of the resources there is no rules are there to give the names of the application in such a way deployment of the private assembly it's a very simple way we know that private uh, uh, yeah, private assembly is deployed in an applications for exclusive use on that applications and every private assembly is manifest accompanied with it has a manifest assembly manifest 
manifest is a, a very simple funda it's contain information about the assembly and its required assemblies private assembly basically are installed in a folder containing the application executable file or one its subfolder they must be deployed in a directory structure of the containing applications we discuss some of the methods how to deploy the private assembly suppose once the private assembly testing is over it can be deployed by simply using by a copy command like s copy command private assembly can be deployed by using a drag drop method of the windows explorer to see the assembly informations we can use ildsm tools so now i will show you how to use assembly for showing the information of assembly how to use ildms tools it is known as msil d assemblers so now we see how to use il dsm tool or msil d assembler tools to see the information about assemblies msil code may exist in a complete in a single physical assembly or in a separate files dot net modules contains the type metadata and il code dot net module can be created by using simply c sharp compiler like csc.exe module contain manifest but it does not have any assembly entry inside the manifest as we discussed the module in the previous slide also not possible to versionize the modules because it does not have any entry point of the assembly once module is generated it can be a part of any assembly other assemblies and here we see ilsm tools ildsm tool used to view the contents of assemblies and the manifest an ildsm parses any dot net framework exe or dll assemblies informations into human readable format like this you open the visual studio command prompt you go to uh, your file folder where actually your assembly information is there so suppose my application is there in e uh, ali and uh, quiz software suppose and ganesh puja quiz and ganesh puja quiz and bin and debug so this is my assembly file so i just make the copy and comes to the command prompt and cd and paste it so we make the command like i l d a s m s and as ganesh puja quiz is in the assembly contains the spaces so it should be in a double quotations you make the copy of that existing things i l d a s m s mark and press enter key so that copy will be so we should present in a quotations so i make the quotation here comes to end and press enter key it gives me this window you can see the complete informations the manifest is there is nothing it gives the informations about the assembly so it will give the corresponding assembly informations whatever the, the in this particular project lot of resources is used so the resources name is there it will give the setting informations about the applications the global application informations and it also give you the classes name this program is a classes name and this is a namespace name of ganesh puja quiz dot programs and the main method is available on that c sa file and all other forms and all other components and all different methods is also visible all the component like in the application the choose option one the different 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 component is used all the things are visible so in the next slides this is all about you to see how to how to see the assembly informations by using msil d assembler in the next slides we continue with share assembly and how to use share assembly by putting it in global assembly cache thank you very much